happy Sunday everybody. How are we doing? It's a lovely day. I mean it rained yesterday but now look at the sunshine. So what are we going to look at today? Well I thought, I know that during the week I did a little thing about actually what happens after Easter but I thought why don't we read it from the first Easter book. Now remember this was the one that I read to you on Easter Sunday. So I thought why don't we look at actually what this says happens after. Now we're going to read two of the stories. We're going to read about the fact that Jesus comes to his friends and we're going to read about the helper that Jesus sends later on at a time that we call Pentecost, which is when the Holy Spirit, so we know that we've got God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, the little triangle with God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit is the helper, he's the friend. He's the one that when Jesus went up to heaven, he came down so that we always had a part of God with us because for them they had Jesus around. Now for us, we have the Holy Spirit, which shows that God is with us always. So let's look at what the story has to say. Breakfast by the lake. Hundreds of people saw Jesus after he rose from the dead. He met his friends many times, but they never knew when or where they would see him. One evening, some of them went out fishing. They stayed out all night, but by the morning they had still caught nothing. As the sun rose, they sailed back to the shore and heard a man shouting to them. Have you caught nothing? he asked. Not a single fish, they replied. Try throwing your nets on the right hand side of the boat, said the man. When they did, they were amazed. Their net was bursting with fish. Then Peter realised who the man was. It was Jesus. Peter jumped into the water and started to swim to the shore, leaving the others to pull in the catch. Jesus was cooking fish and warming some bread over a fire, and they all sat and had breakfast with him. Then Jesus asked Peter if he loved him enough to do a special job for him. He wanted Peter to teach other people about him and be their leader after he had returned to be with his father in heaven. So let's look at that story to start with. Now, Jesus came back and he didn't just come back to show one. He came back to show the many what he had done. And he still kept his same closest friends, the disciples. So when Jesus came back and saw Peter, he asked Peter to do such an amazing thing. He wanted the teaching of him and of God and of the love that they had for everyone to carry on, even though Jesus was going to go back up into heaven. Sorry, blow my nose. <laughs> they wanted people to still hear about Jesus and what he did and what God does for us every day. Now, that would be such an amazing job, wouldn't it? You're being asked by Jesus to teach about him and to carry on doing what Jesus was doing. But they knew they couldn't do it on their own. They needed a helper. So let's hear about the helper. Now, it doesn't just happen just yet. Um, as you'll hear in the story, it happens 40 days after Jesus had died and rose again. So that's not quite yet. But let's look at it so we know what's coming. So Jesus sends his helper. About 40 days after Jesus had died and been seen alive again, he went to be with God once more. He had promised that he would send his Holy Spirit to help his friends serve God and give them the power they needed to help other people. He had promised that he would never leave them again. When his friends came together to celebrate the festival of Pentecost in Jerusalem, the Holy Spirit came to them. They heard a sound like a wind. They saw what looked like flames of fire. But instead of being afraid, suddenly they knew they could do anything God wanted them to do. They knew that he was there to help them. So that's what happened. So what we see first is we see that Jesus rose again. He came to be with his friends. He came to help them and to teach them and to tell them what they need to do. And then once he'd gone up to heaven, because we know that he didn't die again, he went up to heaven. He then sends his helper down to come and be with them so that they could carry on teaching about God and Jesus and the good news. Now that's amazing, isn't it? They knew that actually they couldn't do it in their own strength. But with the Holy Spirit with them, they could do anything because the Holy Spirit was a friend of Jesus and God. So that's where we leave the Easter story at the moment. We leave it with knowing that Jesus is back at the moment and knowing that in 40 days we'll have Pentecost. So I'll see you later for story time. Let's pray. Dear God, we're so thankful that we can have this Easter story, but it doesn't just end with Good Friday. It carries on and we can see your teaching throughout that. Amen. See you later.